Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to make a PWM or digital speed controller box using a 12 volt 55 pound Minn Kota Traxxas control board. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the main parts I'm going to be using in this project. First is the Minn Kota 12 volt 55 pound thrust Traxxas trolling motor control board and it's going to be mounted inside this 6 by 6 by 4 inch electronics waterproof box and I'll be using a 12 volt battery voltage meter along with two of these PG11 waterproof gland nuts and also some various wiring and connectors Okay, so I took my piece of poly cutting board and cut it down to where it's going to fit inside the bottom portion of the box, which is going to hold the control board. And it fits in there like that. And it doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as it fits. And then the pattern I want to use to bolt this on is these little four lifted screw areas. So then what I did was I just took a piece of paper, placed it in there where I wanted it to be, and then came up with the little impressions here where these four holes are going to be drilled into my cutting board. And then I'll line it up in here, make sure everything's right, and then I'll attach the control board to this and install it in the box. This is an exterior view of the box showing the components installed. Here is the voltmeter which I used a 1 and 1 8 inch paddle bit to make the hole and then it was also attached using some marine goop to make sure that it was waterproof. Here is the speed controller dial or potentiometer and I used a 25 standard drill bit for that and then for the two gland nuts down here I used a 5 8 inch diameter paddle bit and as I open it up I will show you a close up of the interior. This is an internal view of the finished product before I go ahead and close it up. As you can see I have my poly cutting board here which connects to the bottom of the box and the Minn Kota control board is attached to that so it's a nice solid fit and then I have my electrical connections marked on this side it's the battery with the plus terminal here and the minus is on this side but it's way up here but I just put that mark there just to know that's where I should be looking and on this side I have the motor connections plus and minus and then all four of these wires which are 10 gauge go out through the gland nuts and then I also made my splice here for the voltmeter that goes through the top of the lid. And this is the potentiometer or speed dial. Now that I'll connect through the other hole, I drilled through the lid. Okay, so I have my test set up here. And in the center, you can see I have my power source, which is my 12 volt battery. And I have the PWM box on the right hand side. And on the left, you can see my testing trolling motor. And in the lower left corner, you can see the prop unit. So watch for the prop to spin as I go through the forward and reverse on the PWM box. So that's it. Everything works like it's supposed to, and the only thing left to do is decide how you want to mount it for your specific use. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.